guys, it's Lee, and I am back today with an unboxing of the Universal Yums Yum Yum box. This box is sent to me each month to do an unboxing and review video. They're not paying me to do these videos, but I do have an affiliate link down in the description box below. So if you're interested in signing up or just maybe checking out the company to get more information, I would appreciate it if you would use my link down below. Universal Yums is a monthly snack subscription box and each month you get snacks from a different country or region, usually country, and it comes in three different sizes. You have the Yum Box, the Yum Yum Box, which I have here, and the Super Yum Box. If you're interested in how many snacks come in each size or the prices, go ahead and click that link down below to go to the website and check it out because the prices change based on the size of the box, but also on the subscription length that you choose. So just head on over there and check that out. This month, the snacks in the box are from Israel. Each month in the box, you of course get the snacks and you get this map or a map of the country and it tells you about the areas where the snacks are made. And then on this side, you get the yum scoreboard where you rate your favorite yum, the worst yum and the weirdest yum. Here it has a little bit about the yum shop where you can go and purchase the snacks if you really like them. And there is a scavenger hunt as well. You also get a sticker each month. They used to put them on the box, but now they're putting them in the box. Either way, it's fine. I like them. It's cute. This says, I found an oasis of yums in Israel. And you also get this booklet each month. So this booklet tells you about the country. So here it says, explore Israel and Israel in 60 seconds. And there is also a recipe, which sounds really good. Tomatoes and eggs. Sounds good to me. You get the trivia train. Tells you about each snack and it does give you an order they'd like you to go in. I don't always follow that. So here are all the snacks. Then you have the nutrition facts for everything. Here are the answers to the trivia train. There's a little section called Israel in your everyday life and keeping kosher. Then there's a day in the life in Israel. Oh, there's a game you can play with your box and some of the snacks. Stroll through the old city of Jerusalem. Sort seven species and another recipe. Oops, another recipe. On the back, more information about the yum shop. So let's dig into these snacks. I think I'm going to go along in the order the book suggests this time. So it says to start off with these Bisley falafel sticks. Israel's famous fried chickpea balls in a snack. Let's try them out. This is what they look like. Well, those were just stuck together. They're really good. I like them. Nice and crunchy. A nice flavor. Good. Next up are these Tic Tuck Chili Lemon Corn Puffs. The spicy sour combo you didn't know you needed. All right. These are in pretty much the same shape. Well, actually, they look like Cheetos. They look like small Cheetos. These are really good, too. There's the spice. I didn't get the spice at first, and it's not super strong because I am a spice wimp. So those are good. They're not super, super spicy. So they're good for people like me. Next up, I'm sure I'm pronouncing these incorrectly, so I apologize. The Pasek. Zman Milk and White Chocolate Caramel Wafer. This sounds amazing. So let me open it up and try it. That's what it looks like. That's what it looks like on the inside. It's really good. I knew it would be good. It just sounded good. Tasty. I really like that one. Next up are honey mustard and onion pretzel bites. 
sweet and savory punch with the perfect crunch. All right, let's see what we think, or what I think. All right, they're pretzel pieces. I'm getting a really strong mustard taste from these. Mustard's not my favorite, but these are good. If you love mustard, you'll love those. Next up, strawberry and vanilla marshmallows. Every bite is a mouthful of fluffy flavor. I need my scissors for this one. Here they are. I'm going to try a strawberry one. I mean, they're good. They're just marshmallows, but it has a nice strawberry flavor. I'll try a white one, a vanilla one. That one just tasted like a regular marshmallow, but I like the strawberry ones. Next up are grape toffee sticks. Israeli chews bursting with ultra juicy grape. Grape is one of my favorite flavors. I love grape popsicles. I did when I was a kid. I haven't had them forever. This is what it looks like. It is really hard, but the grape flavor is delicious. These are just not my favorite types of candies. The really hard taffies. Next up are these strawberry banana swirl soft candies. A smoothie's worth of flavor in each sugar crusted candy. That's what it looks like. It feels like a jelly. I'd say not a ton of flavor in these. I taste banana. I don't really taste the strawberry. I mean, it's nice. It's nice and soft. If I'm going to eat a gummy, I prefer this kind. Um, it's tasty, but not super flavorful. Next up are these Manaman Lemon Cream Wafers. These sound really good. Zingy lemon cream in every crispy bite. This is what they look like. They're really tasty. It's just lemon cream in wafers. So good. Next up is the Elite Milk Chocolate Bar with Popping Candies. Israel's number one chocolate brand with a popping candy surprise. I love that it has little cows on it. I broke off a piece. I don't know if you hear that popping, but um, it's just what it says. The chocolate's really tasty and it keeps popping in my mouth. Next up is the Bamba Peanut Puffs. I believe I have seen these before somewhere. It says Israel's world famous peanut puffs. This is what they look like. And they taste just like peanut butter. I mean, it's one of those things, if you like peanut butter, you'll love them. And the last item in the box is the Oppenheimer Apollo Salted Corn Cones, Israel's lighter, airier version of Bugles. This is what they look like. Can't really put them on your finger. <laughs> I found one I could put on my finger. <laughs> they pretty much taste just like Bugles, so... If you like bugles, which I do, you'll love these too. Really good. So that was everything that was in the April 2022 Israel Universal Yum's Yum Yum box. I love this box. I love getting snacks from different countries every month. I think it's great for homeschoolers. So you get the box. It comes with some information and then you can look into it further. I think it's a great way. It's a more fun way to teach geography. It's great for families who just want to have a fun night and get together and try different snacks. It's good for, it's pretty much good for everybody. College kids, if they're in a dorm, this would be an amazing gift. 
So like I said before, if you're interested in finding out information or signing up for Universal Yums, I do have my affiliate link down in the description box below, and I would really appreciate it if you would use that link. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the little bell so you do not miss out on any of my upcoming videos. You can also find me over on Instagram, Pinterest, and Facebook at Lee's Home 05. Thanks for watching. Bye.